All right, guys. Y'all already know what's going on. It's your boy, Jess. Hey, let me get my uh, tube set out the tube box. I'm going to grab my tube back real quick. Got to open it up. Let's open the tube box up. So I went ahead and I went down this morning, you all. I dumped that early because I'm going to need this tomorrow for the house clean out. I'm going to run this set up. I'm going to have a 20-yarder on that truck tomorrow. And I'm going to take this with the uh, Max D tan trailer for the big house clean out. But right now, boy, it's going to be solo dolo. I'm going to do two jobs today gotta get some stuff for 88 client of mine out of our townhouse capital heights hold on don't move so that being said you guys rolling solo can't get none of the guys uh, right now because they're busy. So I'm just going to take my time and do what I need to do. Definitely going to take my tool bag with me. Even though I got tools in this truck too. Something telling me, always take your tool bag with you. Be on the safe side. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow my first instinct. And do that. Just grab my dolly here. Always want to have that too, just in case. Always keep your dolly, power tools, you need it. Okay, so I'm back guys. Uh, I, I just, I pulled up to like a, a neighborhood park over here, went out on Melwood. I used to actually work here. Well, I didn't work here, but I work with parking plan. I used to actually maintain this facility here. And we're not like keeping the grounds up and we're not like that. So, anywho. I, out of respect for the client, I asked her ahead of time before I arrived. I got there early. My appointment time was at 11. I got there around 1045. So that was good. But I texted her when I was in route and I said, hey, um, I have a YouTube channel. And would you mind if I actually record me doing today's work, like removing items? And if you don't and you're not cool with that, I totally understand. And she said, yes, I'm not comfortable with that. And I said, OK, no problem. And she said, but well, thank you for asking, though. That's, that's a respectful thing. So you guys, um, I wasn't able to record the job for you all, but I will show you what the truck looks like and what I had to do. I'll break it down and step by step give you an example. So you all, this what the truck looking like. Slight, right? <laughs> Slight, right? It's a box spring. It's one box spring, but <laughs> in two pieces. You hear me? Your boy had to cut the joint in half, though. Had to realize I cut the joint in half. And I broke down a little dresser. And um, this is just like a mattress pad or some sort of little temper peepee joint. And it's a glass top. I slid under here. So I did all of this within an hour. She was totally impressed. I got there early. I knocked this all out. Had to cut the box spring up due to the way the stairwell was. But other than that, I did all of this myself within an hour's time. And she was truly impressed. And she said she will be leaving me a review. And I helped her move another piece downstairs in the basement and she helped me with it, so. Good business, man. Always do good business for your clients because they'll remember you, uh, being honorable, trustworthy, um, cognate of their time, and um, things of that nature. All right, you guys, so with that being said, I'm just gonna let y'all know that everything was a success. Uh, this job right here you see on the truck, Due to me coming inside, I do upcharge. I have a threshold fee for coming inside. And even though this is really close, a little over one fourth, not really a half truck load for real, but like over a one fourth in between a half, I charge a $350 just to do all that. So not bad for hours work. Solo Dolo J by himself. Quick 350. I know how we do. All right. Y'all stay tuned. I'll be back with y'all later. But like I was saying, everything was done in an hour. My appointment time was for 11. I arrived at 1045. Didn't get started till about 1050 and finished right before 12 o'clock. Who can't do junk from over by themselves? You might can't, but I can. All right, good people. Been back home, but I'm just picking back up on the camera. This is the setup I'm getting ready to run. Go pick this lawnmower up, this Ryan lawnmower. 
might be able to roll it up on here but i got my winch here already hooked up to the battery if needed so y'all see saying clinton so y'all stay tuned and uh we'll see how this go okay <laughs> well, my grandson, well, he's trying to help me out as much as he can, and, right. and it wasn't a necessary, necessary thing that had to be done, so I didn't really keep, you know, after him for it. Right. I'm going to use both. Push. I just need somebody to steer it. If this pulls it, this will do the pulling. Uh -huh. So you steer it up like that. <laughs> Again, appreciate you keeping me in mind. phone brand new even though i didn't pay for it all at once that was a 1300 phone i got the cheapest and that was 400 from t-mobile yeah i was doing business on and everything so it paid for it yeah, it does, yeah. yeah. i don't remember these phones, phones come. well you guys you see that didn't take too long quick fast easy Clint even gave me a hand we pushed it from around back and i used the winch and she just helped me stare so that didn't take too long at all and uh yeah thought i was gonna need like don't need to get copyrighted don't need to get copyrighted at all so i thought i was gonna need like um not necessarily a shackle but i wanted like a little toe uh strap to, like something to just put around the um axle but i said what the heck when she advised helping me push i just said let me just go ahead and wrap the uh cable around the axle uh, the front wheel right quick and then it should pull it up straight up strong enough and the wheels being pumped up too helped out a lot being inflated but uh quick 140 less than 10 minutes yeah can't beat it all right oh yeah i can hear my buddy sean now 
he's the one like he's the og og before the whole bulk trash came into play when i was just doing justin's lawn service sean is an og in the game with me he's been rocking with me since we was in high school them high school days like he a real one soldier he a soldier an og soldier for real but nah he the one that used to give me Mr. 150 or better. So if he hit that 140, he gonna be like, come on, Swag. Come on, Jay, man. You know you're supposed to hit him with that Mr. 150 or better. But I say, hey, man, $10 ain't gonna make you or break you. You hear me? But to him, 150. Mr. 150 or better. Not 140, Mr. 150 or better. It was local, less than 12 minutes from me. You know what I'm saying? Oops. We out back with it. Riding out back with it. I'm right here. For those y'all know, on Brandy Wine Road, Horseshoe Road, you know what I'm saying? We out backward, out backward to go. Getting ready to turn down the street when I get a chance to. Hit traffic coming. Getting ready to turn down the street right here. So I'm waiting until it's safe to do so, and it is safe to do so now. Yes, sir. I will holler at y'all. I will holler at y'all when I get a chance. I'm about to focus on driving now. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's currently 6.55 a.m. It is Saturday, June 10th. And I'm just showing y'all this is the setup we taking for the big house cleanup today. Boy, Curtis gonna pull this one for me. When he get here, I'm gonna have Curtis dry this for me. Take some of the guys. <clears throat> and I'm gonna dry this one. Yes, sir. Y'all ain't see. Got the big 450 up there. Hooked up to the roll off. So, yeah. That's how we rocking, man. That's how we rocking. I'm currently, you know, I'm got my uniform enough on right now. I just got on some shorts. <laughs> I'm currently about to go make a run to AutoZone and go pick up some uh, hydraulic fluid <laughs> for both the pumps. Even though they, they're still good, I just want to top them off a little bit. Um, never know just to have to be be on the safe side because like one time I had a leak on my roll-off trailer and I had to uh, tighten the fins back up on it where the hose connected and uh, you know it was leaking a good amount so I just want to definitely top that one back off just in case <laughs> better be safe and sorry especially when you get ready to go dump you don't want to hear that mm -hmm, that little whiny sound like it bitch you know so you preventive maintenance that's all it is preventive maintenance folks all right as you see we're back now you got the infamous well, i ain't gonna say infamous but you got the good man infamous. sean I like that. okay you don't want to be famous all right you got my good man ah baby mechanic back in the day my man john right here you got the fresh look at him with the fresh uniform on man looking nice and smooth with the uh, nike fitted under you know the safety boots he ready to go to work with the wrist straps. My God. Damn, fuck him up. You hear me? But yeah, like I say, got this set up for today. I got my tripods too. I'm just holding it right now. Yeah. <clears throat> then we got this big behemoth right here. Just waiting for Curtis, um, his son to pull up, and then waiting for Lonnie and Lynn to pull up, and then we could get ready to hit the road. But yeah. That's about it. I don't really got too much to say until the rest of the guys get here. So y'all know what's going on. Yo, hey, Mr. A, yo, A, yo, I'm so. Showing is freshly, freshly skin in the morning time. Up, you know what I'm saying? What's up, what's up? Uh, human Merle. Hey, nah, that's my good man right here. And uh, there goes his um little bro over there. Just walking up now. <laughs> All right, man. How you feeling this morning? If you don't mind me putting you on the camera, I hope you don't. All right, man. Tired, man. Busy working, busy doing shit. Yes, sir. Nice like studio session this morning. Okay, how that go? Hood Roach TV, it was lit. Oh, Shout out Hood Roach. Yeah, you already know. Good man, he shot some videos in the past. Yes, sir. Work is never done. <laughs> there you go. Always working. That's how you gonna get shit. Right. right. There you go. Be ready hey, to look who it is, man. It's the cool dude, Mister Mike Attack himself. What's going on, Lon? Hey. <laughs> Uncle Jay, nah, I, I, I'm more like Poppy Chulo Jay right now. I got my, I got my groove back. You hear me? They, they already know fresh cut, feeling good, fresh out the shower. They know what's going on, man. You know. All right, good morning, guys. You see, got the guys. Now we here. 
It's about a little after almost 10.30. We over here now after Iverson Street. Doing a job, I had to park that truck over there. Unfortunately, uh, we would have needed two cars from right here to be moved so I could park one truck and trailer. But I had to um, put one truck and trailer right here on the corner. And the guys are just walking it out from that house right there where you see that black bag. Walking it down. I moved my truck over there, locked it up so I could see. And I had to drop my trailer right here because I didn't want to block off the whole street so people could still come out and turn and see and whatnot. So I'm about to get y'all a little run through. I don't got my tripod yet, but I'm going to get it in a second. And I got to still transact business. Like I say, all the guys here now, they getting started. Time bags are bringing it out. Good job. Viewer discretion is advised. All right, you see here, working now in the downstairs area and whatnot, batting up a lot. Man's coming down now, we get out of the way. All right, hey, uh, you mind if I use something to hold this door open? All right, I'll pry something back and I'll be with you in one second. I'll be with you in one second. All right, so. Here we go, here's the upstairs area. Like I said, that's what they working on right now. So I'm at El Muncie, of course. Cleaning out. So I say, might have to shoot this one in segments, but it's borderline. It's a lot of clothing and we're not working on this room. Cleaning this out. Yeah. It's gonna be moving a lot of older stuff like this. You all stay tuned. Did she say anything about this room specific? No, what she said was, ain't that looks brand new? She keeping it. Like, maybe this dresser? No, she, she might said, keep it. Just it up. Okay. Huh. So like everything yeah. Of course, like her TV, she gonna keep and all that. Yeah, that and if anything right. brand new. But for the most part, yeah. All right. Let me get out your way right quick. Let me get out of the way, bro. Let's go. Come on, come on, so. One second, y'all. I'll shoot this in segments. And like, even what I did right now, even though I chalked both of the wheels, I went ahead and I lowered that jack stand down real low. So since I don't have a coupler lock or any wheel locks on right now, no truck will be able to hook up to it. Like, you had to have a super drop down jack. And I'm constantly walking out. The guys are constantly walking out, so I'm keeping an eye on that. But we working right here with this first trailer set up. I'm about to go get the guys. This saws off, and what well, Sean requested it. I'm gonna get them this so they can cut up one of the couches right here downstairs and break it down so it'll fit in this bin better. But like you see right now, the guys is still bringing out a lot of stuff, walking the trash cans through as we speak. So they coming down now, him and uh, Sean and John been coming back. So I'm getting this for them. And y'all stay tuned. Tell the people, say you use the song over for John? Yeah. My man say- got a little bit. That's what the trailer looking like. They stagging and pushing it like I do. You always work from the front to the back. That's how you doing. So John said he ready to cut some shit up. I'm gonna do it. Big cutter John. <laughs> uh, big cutter with the biggest mover of them all today. Of them all today. Remember, one fifty or better, man. Mister, Mister, that's me. That's one or Mister, one fifty or better. Yeah. Yeah, you can just pull like. If out here on the grass man, or something, and just out the way and cut it out. To make some one video better of merchandise, <laughs> like this joint, man. So they still yeah, packing they upstairs. They're working upstairs. Man. Don't forget, I got y'all water and shit still in the truck. Yeah, I know. Working on that now. Don't worry about that. Good. 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 I feel. Right. 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 Right.
Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll get in there one shot out of the way. I'm gonna shoot some of that. So you knocked the claws out already? Yeah, it's not done. Yeah. 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 Like I said, that back room gonna take all hands. All hands. All hands. Huh. Which one? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Cool. My bad. Okay, I got you. Okay, no. Gosh, gosh, gosh. What a chair now. I'm misunderstood. Good move. Good cut. Man, you play catching, bro. There you go. You used to catching balls. You used to catching balls. I hate this nigga. <laughs> Wide receiver. Wide receiver. <laughs> oh. It was literally the worst ball I played with. This top three worst balls I played with in history. Pause, bro. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. I know this dude's not gay, but pause, bro. Hey. Nigga, you gay. Nah. Ah. Mm. It's all right. He used to play catching when we played baseball and stuff. I said, you used to catch them both. Wow. Yeah. All right. Good. That's that. Now, yeah. this, this thing's staying. This thing, it's this, it's this chair, though. So you can pull that back in the corner, some. Like, push it over, some. Out up against the blinds. Pull it back, some. Like, back that way, some. All right. Yeah. I think she want these books up here. This, uh, it's a correction. This is staying. It's this chair that's going right here that they're going to take out. The one that John cutting off now. Nah, for the most part, they, um, she's keeping most of this. She's wanting to clean it up some. They went through some of the stuff already and, um, clean house things. So I guess she's just wanting to. Cleaning up and whatnot and everything like that. Still got to take that file, Canada. I know some more stuff over here. I know that for a fact, but most of that. I'll, I'll, I'll verify it with her. Oh, I know that shit. Yeah. Probably just, yeah. Yep. Put it over there. Extension cord, huh? I mean, not extension cord, but that little outlet thing. That's a good ass extension cord. Yeah, outlet. That's a good job. Outlet, yeah, outlet, yeah. That's a good job. Right. Cool. That's a good job. This is a recline joint. So, if it got the clips on it, we might be able to take the back off. You gotta wait till you pull this back up. It's still like when I'm old, pull it, rip this part up. Let me see. It do look low. This might, this one bolted on, yeah. Uh, this one don't got the clip. You start taking this down loose or something? Or? Hell no. Nah. Oh, all right. Just gonna sit that outside for now. Right. I had to go get tools and go all that. I got it. You need me and Sean to help you with it. I don't want you to hurt yourself. I hurt these. Be careful. Um, Good, John. Be yeah. careful, John. I, got a good break. I forgot you have been working out. <laughs> he's the he's the real muscle of JVT. There you go. Yeah, <laughs> Set that shit over there. Then if you want to put a sludge to it or something and knock the joint out. Yeah. Cause I don't want you having to take no boats apart and all that shit. Yeah. Brother. How's everything going? It's going good, man. Going good, man. How everything going to you, sir? It's going good, good. All right. <laughs> now stop slacking and get the fuck back in the house. <laughs> there you go. I can do this. It, you ever heard it, it calls to be the boss? It calls, man. Hey, I'm. Hey, at least you don't got to tip it in and get up here. And John think he's slick. John trying to take my job. He ain't taking my job. Oh, no. I done supplied every fucking thing. I'm paying my men good money. So, if anybody gonna be sitting on their ass dumping a can, who the fuck you think it's gonna be? Me. The fuck? 
shit, cause them screws holding that shit. You got. Oh, you I got it. Damn, it's not making it better. You breaking it down? It's not even making it better. Big one would be a little easier, bro. That's what I'm saying. That big okay. one. Damn. Okay, now you 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 knock most of it off. Shit, you good for most part. Just hit this little shit off. Okay. And just hit the hit it, you know, hit on the other side and knock it back. The rest of this shit I can scrap because of the frame. Oh damn, you good? That look good. Take your time, you good? Ain't no wrong with you hurt yourself. <laughs> this don't no joke. Cracked in there. Hit that other corner. There you go. There you go, man. I know you had it in you, John. There you go. There you go. Made you a little mess, but there you go. <laughs> Sarah, he did it. Yeah, let me tell you how to mess it. Uh, what's up? But I'm gonna tip y'all, cut the condition. Uh, that's a fact. All right. Guys, still getting the stuff out now. Uh, all right. Let's go upstairs. I got this dustpan too. Better yet, we have a broom. Yeah, get all this on video. Good job, man. Yeah, get us the job. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Like I say, I had, yeah, I had no idea all this shit was on the floor. Yeah, this is no, bad, bro. I know. Build up a dust on top of this. Yeah. No, it looks like it was smoke. These walls are brown. Nah, it's because it's smoke. That much. It's like smog. Yeah. So as you guys see, I'm not about to step here too long, but but they done with right here. You even see the dust come off the ground. Uh. Let me see. Let me see this other drum quick long. Uh-huh. Yeah. Look, look, look at the strong Hey man, man. You uh help bring some of the stuff out of here first. I'm gonna try to start working on this one right here too. Uh, so just whatever clothes, if you need some bags, I still got a whole box downstairs. And just start trying to get some of this shit out of here, bro. Uh, we clean, we crazy clean this whole room. Bro. So, I'm gonna use it for the trash cans or whatever with a bag right here. I'm gonna get some out. We're gonna try that. So, they clean it up for you. All right. Oh yeah, we don't come to play. We don't come to play. There you go. Yeah, they do. Oh yeah. Oh man. I just oh. got a couple of them. Oh no, no, no. We don't need that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so y'all stay tuned. That's the update. Ah. Uh -uh. All right, y'all. You see, you guys, sitting down now. Right there, I walk through and shit. They almost done. Good man, John. <laughs> oh. Yeah, a little walk through. Probably hit the landfill. I gotta hurry up and get down there type shit. Yeah, a little bit more. Let's grab these few little things. <sighs> Said he almost done upstairs. Yeah. Alrighty. Was this little bit of stuff by the steps going too? Okay. Okay. They cleaned underneath your bed or everything. Yes, sir. Yep. Alrighty. So, wow. Couldn't even see in this room when you first walked in here. Now you can actually see in here. It's just a whole rack of a little bit of trash on the carpet, but for the most part, it looks like a room again. That's how JBT does it. Yes, sir. Wow. Big difference, y'all. Huh? What a little bit of TLC can do. Big difference. You actually see the bed again. 
They turn, they move the whole bed around. Type shit. <laughs> My crew awesome, Joe. My crew awesome, Sean. Couldn't ask for a better crew. They finishing up now. Type shit. It looks amazing up there. Uh, I know you it looks, did. It looks, it looks like a whole new room up there. Mm -hmm. You gotta start somewhere. You ain't lying. And I started somewhere. There you go, you did it. You did it. And I didn't I didn't pray I appreciate it. Don't take it, don't do this, don't yeah. do that. I mean, I none of that. That makes the job hard. I appreciate it. I'll be right back. What's that? Huh? Right there. In the plastic bag? Oh yeah, I got I'll put it out for you. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, no, I was saying like when you dropped it, we thought it was trash. Let me be a pain in the ass, man. Oh, that's, that's metal. Yeah. Is that even, nah, this is metal. Throw that shit in. They don't sound like that. Right? What I need y'all to do right quick, get them last two trash cans. Right. Dump that in here and I'm going to hit the land for right quick. What's the last one? Oh, Two trash cans up there with shit in it. Right. And uh, so I'm trying to dump this joint right quick for they close. Cause I got I got to think about my drive time too, getting down there. So it's all it's like almost two, it'll be two thirty and I don't fifteen. Come on, y'all, somebody, yeah. come on, let's yeah, go to the trash can. Come on. Yeah. Come on, y'all. And then, and them little um, them two little metal joints in there. Oh, uh, the shelves. You could just throw that if I'm like I'm saying since I'm going to leave the shelves in there. I'm two metal shelves. Is she keeping that? Yeah, she might be keeping oh, those. Okay, 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 cool, cool. But well, I just need to get the trash out there. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Okay. Alright, but but but. How you feeling, man? How you feeling too easy? Man, I'm feeling good, man. I'm finally yeah. got this job done. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We got to go ahead, get cleaned up, enjoy the rest of the day. There you go. Another successful big move, man. All right, man. You don't mind if I put your camera, dude. That's cool. All right, man. So we got my man Curtis. This Curtis young one right here. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Elijah. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this, by this bit, real shit, I'm, I'm going to be real with you right quick. So by this be your first time working with me, uh, how you feel everything went? It's good. I mean, it's not hard at all. Good first day? You know what I'm saying? Did you feel we had all the necessary tools to make the job easy for us? Yes. Oh, cool, cool. And uh, would you mind doing, you know, more jobs in the future? Yeah, sure. All right, sound good, sound good. I appreciate you for the feedback, bro. All right. Well, correction. These items are staying. Just wanted to keep these items up here, so he's not gone. All right. Just need a new carpet, that's all. And a mean vacuum. All right. I'm gonna ride with that joint. We get right over. So everything flush, so it's so it should pull back easy. Everything ain't nothing sticking up this time. But you might need another hand because that shit got that tension on. Hey Elijah, help me pull this right quick, bro. You help me pull this joint. Pull back on there. Just pull it, yeah. Just, just pull it. It's the top. We gotta get the like, two arms to go right here. Pull it. That side, that side up there? Yeah. All right, it's under. Go ahead and wrap. Yeah. Yep. That shit was smooth this time because we ain't had nothing sticking up. Yeah. Thank you. With the weights get to your motherfucking head. You out here with a bunch of lines, nigga. And if you don't want your food, it's going to be taken. Uh oh, you heard that? Funny. And it's on. It's on. If I, if I wanted it, if I wanted it, wanted it, wanted it, wanted it, wanted it, I could have took it. But there's no need because I don't want it. So therefore, Damn. you have nothing to worry about. Damn. All right. So as you see, you guys, I'm just now making it here, pulling up the scale now. <clears throat> Let's see what my weight reading. Twenty-two, two eighty, three hundred. Made it to the landfill, y'all. Just in the nick of time. Pulled up right before three o'clock, 251. 
they close in full. So go ahead and unravel the joint right quick. Should be it should be easy for you to pull it by yourself since it ain't nothing sticking up. The big trucks coming in here and whatnot. All in that dirt in. They just, you know, pull back on it. You know, get, get the bars that go over top. It's the only thing. Pull back on it a little bit. Get it to go up. That other side to go up some. I'll hold this for you. All right, now just let it reel in. Hold it. Bar should just guide on up. Right here. Uh. Yep. Put it around here one time and tie like a little knot in it. Alright, go through it again one more time just to kind of be on the safe side. Thank you. Get ready to go dump now. That'll work. She's out. Alright, let's go dump this bad boy. Head down there with all the rest of the behemoths. Close to the 80 then. Alright. I go 85. Right. I actually won. Sean said 80 and I said 85 dollars. And we had 3,580 pounds worth of trash for 125.30. So since I was the closest, technically won. Just getting back to the house now. Just back this bad boy. Sean and uh Muncie, of course, just riding with me to the landfill. John, Lonnie, and Curtis and his son, they already bounced. They, as you see, he put my trailer back there in the back for me already. Parked my truck over there, so we good on that. All right, you guys, so as you see, I'm out of uniform now. I got relaxed, sipping on a Dr. Pepper. Uh, the job went well. The guys knocked out everything. Um, got started an hour late, but it's all good. They still finished everything within five hours. Knocked it out. Went ahead and made it to the landfill just in time within that last hour for real. You know, I usually don't like to push it that close, but I made it, thank God. And uh, everybody made out good today. Um, each contractor made $140, and I paid Curtis a little more for driving for me, you know, as expected, because he had another task he had to do just besides working. So he made extra for driving. But uh, yeah, so each contractor himself just doing the labor and work. 
made 140 due to uh, the condition they had to work into, like a little extra hazard pay and whatnot. Drop down in the comments and tell me what you think I bid it on this job to lock this job in and get it. So you guys go ahead, drop down in the comments how much I charged on this job and locked it in for. All right, until next time, your boy, one. Hey man, say man, y'all ain't know who it is. Pull up like money, get money. We ain't never slumming on God.